Hey, what's going on, guys? Team 3D. So, watch it again. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys my uncle real quick. You remember? You guys remember Eric? The back from the back shot in the kitchen. We just came from the gym. By the way, he's on the he's on the cut right now. He's trying to get as lean as possible, and he has a lot of muscle on him, as you can tell. So once he gets down to maybe seven, eight percent body fat, you're gonna see a lot more. Show me your back, man. That this is the first picture. You see his back? Hold on, don't move, don't move. Look at his back, guys. Fucking ridiculous, man. No protein shake. No. What's what's the max amount of protein you eat a day? 60, 80? 80, uh, 80 grams. The max, the most amount of protein is a day is 80 grams. Usually 60 to 80 grams, which is unbelievable. He used to be skinny like a twig. If he allows me, I will, I will show you what he used to look like when he was um when he was before he started working. Out. He started working out three years ago, so it's three years of working out following a straight diet. In fact, it's not a diet. He made it a lifestyle. He's very healthy. Uh, drinks a lot of water. Eats a lot of fruits. Stays away from you know starchy foods. So, huh? Oh, oh, and a lot of beans. Like I told you guys, he's the one that introduced me to beans. The I mean, guys, you want to put on muscle. Beans is one of the top sources out there. High in fiber, good carbs, complex carbs, and high in proteins. But anyway, um, if you have more questions about my uncle, just let me know and we'll answer, or he'll, or, you know, he'll just answer. But uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my my bulking stack because I officially started bulking last week. I'm trying to bulk up for a year or two. We just got back from the gym, by the way. Just did, just did chest, chest, a little bit of side laterals, and some triceps. Man, for some reason I'm still lean. I don't understand. Like I, I started bulking a week ago, but I'm still lean. Look at this. Look at this. This is fucking beautiful. Look at his chest. Look, look at the thickness in the back starting to come out. Oh, look at my arm getting swole. Oh man. I just gotta put it. What? What I say? No. In the middle of a video, man. Okay. So, yeah, that's the side effect to beans, by the way, guys. All right. Here's my bulking stack. It came in the mail yesterday. You guys are ready for this? This is the best protein shake I ever took in my entire life. Epic unboxing. Even though this wasn't sent by, a, it wasn't sent by a subscriber, but guys, I just like opening stuff in in the mail. I mentioned that in another video. I love unboxing stuff. I don't care if it's empty. Send me boxes. Alright. By the way, this cost me about fifty dollars, fifty fifty five dollars. This is what I got. I'm just playing. That's the bonus that comes with it. Bodybuilding.com is a great place to order your supplements. Am I building up anticipation? I just Bang! Carnivore. Best protein shake I ever took in my life. Now I heard about this like two years ago from Kai Green. Cause that's what he was taking but i thought it was just like a, you know like a scam or whatever but i actually did some research on it and i went online i looked at a lot of reviews not only it tastes pretty good you could just take it with water that's the fruit punch flavor but it has nitrogen retention technology it's a fancy term for it's good pretty much because you guys all know it's not protein that builds muscle it's really nitrogen your body breaks down the protein into amino acids yada 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 you need a positive nitrogen balance to build muscle and this is um this swears to enhance your body's ability to to retain nitrogen which leads to bigger and fuller muscles and stuff like that but anyway i love this this is going to be my protein shake for the rest of my life until i die i love this protein shake right here um yeah, it, it, it came out to exactly, this is four pounds by the way, so it came out to, fuck man, where's the receipt? It was 50 something, we're shipping, and it came in two days, bodybuilding I come shipped so quick. I paid five ninety eight dollars for regular two or three day shipping, it came exactly two days later. It's very awesome, it has a picture of Kai Green on it. All right, my bulking stack is gonna consist of this, right? You gotta get your protein in, right? Positive nitrogen balance. Nitrogen is very, imp very important to build muscle. And number two, my bees. Guys, your bees are very underrated, but yeah, very important when it comes to you know building muscle. Not just to have a healthy body, but to build muscle. It makes everything in your body function better. In fact, I take about 200 milligrams a day, and the results are amazing. I mean. Left, right, right, left, right, right, both, both, left, right. All right. So bees, right? Your bees. 
Enzymes. I got that from, um, I forgot his name. Old guy I spoke with on the phone. He was the first guy to develop 21-inch biceps. I forgot his own. I forgot his name. He, he recommended this to people that have problems digesting beef. I have a big problem digesting beef. I have a slow metabolism, as you all know. I used to be fat, so I have a very slow metabolism. So it takes a while for me to digest beef or anything that is, you know, too dense. And this really helps. I mean, if you eat a big meal, for those of you guys doing intermittent fasting out there, if you're eating a, a, a lot of food in a small window and you need help um, fighting the bloating and the digestion, or if your stools are coming out too hard and shit like that, meaning you're constipated and motherfucker, try some enzymes. Eat them with your meals. They help you digest the food better. This way your body absorbs, you know, most of the, most of the food instead of just wasting it. Of course, you got my creatine. I started taking this when I was cutting because I was losing too much strength. You know, creatine is good whether you're bulking or cutting. But especially since you're bulking, you're eating a lot of carbs, drinking a lot of water. Don't neglect creatine. Usually, I, I normally don't like supplementing with creatine because I like to see what, my, what I'm capable of without supplements. But... When you're bulking for a year, you don't want to leave no room for errors, guys. So your creatine, make sure you drink tons of water. Don't even waste your fucking money if you're not drinking water. And last but not least, shout out to my girl, Saima. Bam. Jack 3D. Hands down, best pre-workout supplement on the market. And that's what's going to be banned soon. Best pre-workout supplement I've ever took. One scoop. No, I did no, just some. One scoop is all you need. Just one scoop. Motherfuckers that die because they took two to four scoops. And it tells you on the fucking bottle, do not exceed recommended dose. I don't understand. And when you're taking Jack 3D, don't drink coffee. That's another thing because if you drink too much coffee, it's going to add to the Jack 3D and it's going to burn out your adrenal glands, you know, stuff like that. Just try to, try to um, limit, if not eliminate your coffee. But it's the best pre-workout supplement I've taken in my entire life. I might make a, se a separate video for Jack 3D. I've made tons of Jack 3D videos, but I might make another one. The reason why I haven't been, this is the new one Simon sent me, by the way. The reason why I don't use it as much is because, number one, it's too potent, it's too strong, and it's, it's just too strong. I mean, literally, I had a leg workout a few days ago, and I was, I was, I was going past failure. And three days later, my legs are still sore. Because Jack 3D, I think it suppresses a lot of the shit in your brain, so you don't really feel pain. And me, I'm an animal. Like I, I go past failure. If I don't feel the pain, I'm, I, you know, I just keep on going until I feel the pain. So it makes you overwork yourself. So I only use this when I'm doing leg workouts or back workouts, which is the two largest muscle groups in your body. Don't use it for every fucking workout. Don't use this if you're going to do fucking abs or biceps. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. So creatine, my carnivore, my enzymes. It's not really a supplement, but the B's, vitamins, and um, my Jack 3D, which I only, I only use about twice a week. So, yeah, that's what I'm taking for my bulking phase for a year. When this runs out, I'm going to buy more. I love this right here. This is my my MVP out of all the supplements. So, make sure you I'm make sure I have my, my peanuts. I learned a lot through my fats. My body responds very well to healthy fats. So, my peanuts, my avocados, my, my healthy carbs. Uh, what else? My protein. I'm gonna try to meet my macro goals every day, and I think that's about it. I gotta even out my lagging body parts. I gotta even out my my arms. Gotta get bigger. Noticeably, my triceps. I'm gonna lose the six pack. That's guaranteed. But I'm not gonna put on too much fat because of the dangerous nipple. My traps gotta come up. What's the Pokemon? My traps gotta come up. My uncle's laughing at me. My traps gotta come up. My nose gotta go down. I'm just my my back gotta become a lot thicker. My shoulders gotta improve. My quads, my calves, pretty much everything. But anyway, guys, this video is too fucking long. Leave your comments below. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for sharing the videos. I go to my analytics and shit, and I see people sharing my shit, liking it. I really appreciate that. Motivates me to make more videos. Oh, by the way, I have recorded today's chest workout on my uncle's camera but he had too many pictures on it so right in the middle of our workout memory card full so that's an epic fail so i might have to re-upload another chest workout soon deuces <laughs> why are you shaking your head <laughs> all right anything you want to say um, uncle say uncle he says deuces <laughs> all right guys take it easy thanks for the love